tip is a very practical one for any fashion designer who's working in Illustrator. Brushes are something that we use all the time and they're a huge time saver. So if you are not using brushes yet, you should be. They will totally streamline your workflow when it comes to drawing a flat sketch in Illustrator. And for me, as an activewear designer who is always using reverse cover stitch, double needle cover stitch, uh, flat lock, zippers, brushes are not only a time saver, but they're also a lifesaver. I can't tell you how many sketches I'd probably still be drawing if I didn't have brushes. So let's talk about how to create a cover stitch brush in Illustrator. There are various types of brushes you can create in Illustrator, but most designers use pattern brushes for stitches. When you create a pattern brush, you want to start by drawing the repeat. So for a cover stitch brush, there's the loopy thread that covers the seam and then there's the stitches on each end. I'm creating a three needle cover stitch brush. So I'm going to add stitching to the top, middle and bottom of the loop. And contrary to what you might think, I don't use a dashed line like you normally would when creating a single needle stitch on a flat. It doesn't create a consistent dashed line when it's saved on the brushes. So instead, I just use solid lines and space them so it looks like a dashed line. Next, create the definition box and remember three things. One, the height of the definition box doesn't matter as much as the width. The width has to be the exact width of the repeat or the brush does not repeat properly. Two, don't forget to add in spacing between the stitches to the repeat. Make sure you don't create the definition box edge to edge of the artwork or there won't be any spacing between the stitches. And three, the definition box should have no color and sent to the back. So if your current definition box has a stroke on it or a fill, just change it to no fill or no stroke and make sure you arrange and send to back before the next step. Once you've created the definition box, drag it and the artwork into the brushes panel. Select pattern brush when prompted and then name your brush in the next window. Check the preview of the brush in the lower left area and make sure it looks continuous. If there are gaps or overlaps on the brush, press cancel and go back to the original repeat. More than likely, there's a problem with the definition box. But if everything looks good, you can hit OK to save the brush. And to use it, just draw a line and click the brush to apply it. If you need to color your brushes, make sure you check out this video on my channel. I know that was pretty important to me. Again, as an activewear designer, we're always doing pop color cover stitching or pop color zippers. And being able to create one brush and then recolor it multiple times as opposed to creating five different brushes for every single colorway that you're doing, that was a huge deal. And just in general, Resaving a zipper brush every time you have to color it in a different color, there's no need to do that. And that video will show you the correct settings so you won't have to. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. If you are new to digital fashion design, make sure you check out the links in the description for more information about my classes in Illustrator and Photoshop for fashion and to get some great freebies. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.